Hi, this is Laura Robles with Walters Gardens, and I'm here today to talk to you about our mangave. Uh, so mangave, for those of you who don't know, is a relatively new type of plant. It's created by crossing uh, members of the genus agave with members of another related genus called manfreda. Manfreda is native to southern United States and parts of Mexico. Um, and as I said, they're related, but they have different characteristics. So the, the resulting cross called mangave has some characteristics of both. Uh, one thing you can see here is it definitely has some of that uh, resemblance to an agave plant, but the manfreda side gives some unique coloration. You can see some of the speckling and red that you get in some of the crosses. Um, another thing is that the plants are not nearly as spiny as agave, so you can touch them and interact with them uh, without piercing your fingers. Um, and then the, really the biggest thing for growers is that the production time is cut down significantly. Uh, so where agaves a lot of time will take a couple of years to have a saleable plant size, these you can produce a quart in about 10 to 15 weeks for a lot of the uh, varieties of mancave. A few of the finer leaf varieties will take a little bit longer than that, but still relatively quick production times. So the coloration that I mentioned before that comes mainly from the uh, Manfreda side of the parentage, um, you want to be aware that that coloration requires UV light to show up. Um, so in the greenhouse, if, especially if you're growing under poly, it's going to be a much more subdued coloration. But then once you get these plants outside under full intensity sunlight where they get that UV radiation, that's when the speckles and the red coloration and different um, stripes and colors will really pop and show up well. So in the greenhouse, uh, ideal temperatures for these are quite warm. They do like it between about 68 to 75 ideally. Uh, they'll grow happily at much warmer temperatures than that. You can hold them cooler, uh, but their growth is really going to slow substantially um, and they will just kind of sit there if you get too low in temperature. So they can be held down to 45 or 50, but they're really not going to do much at that temperature. For pH and EC, uh, they like a little bit higher pH than some greenhouse crops. So about 6.2 to 6.8 is ideal for mangave. And then electrical conductivity should be fairly low. They are not heavy feeders. So we shoot for about 1 to 1.25 EC, measured using the pour through method. Um, and with, with fertilizer, you definitely want to go a little bit lighter. Uh, 100 parts per million nitrogen is more than enough for these. And you can alternate with clear water to keep the salts down in these plants. Pest and disease wise, there's really not a lot of disease that will affect mangave as long as you're growing them at an ideal moisture level, uh, which for these is actually kind of a moderate level, uh, more like a hosta would be grown. So they don't want to be grown really dry, which is a common misconception, but you also don't want to grow them saturated or really wet or you'll end up with uh, root rot or crown rot issues. For pests, there are a few insect pests that can be problematic with this crop. Uh, one is thrip. So it's definitely variety specific. Certain varieties are more susceptible to thrip feeding damage than others, but it is something to watch out for. Um, another thing would be scale um, and mealybug. Both of those can be issues on mangabe. And then the last thing to really watch out for is the Ariophyid mite. Um, so this is a mite that also feeds on agave. And the symptom that you'll typically want to watch out for is kind of a stain on the foliage that almost looks like an oil spill or an oil stain. If you haven't tried mangave in production yet, give it a try. It's really um, a fairly quick crop, fairly easy to grow. And for the end consumer, it's great in patio containers. And then it can be brought inside and overwintered as a house plant and put back out the following year. For more information and photos of mangave, check out the Mad About Mangave Facebook page.